Was that blue sun always on the menu screen or am I just noticing that now? Either way, we're back and today we are going into the cabaret. Well, hello. Where are the dancing la- Bro, I know where I- Come on, I wanted some dancing demonic ladies, man. Anyway, we have to get our ass into Alma Mater. This is a door that should be openable from the other side. I believe I synchronized this No, I didn't. All right. The one in there is synchronized. This thing here leads into Alma Mater. And this one... Yes, this one is synchronized. All right. This is Alma Mater offices. Let me just go to the observatory real quick. Because I got plenty of axioms. And honestly, I feel like most of your power really just comes from the conductor and not so much from your stats so like i was dumping a bunch of points into strength but i don't think i really need it which means i might also start putting something into cognition maybe so i can you know use some firearms and stuff that seems fun but then i'm also gonna have to level up a firearm conductor but i mean i have plenty of axioms stored in here so i mean we're learning how this works Anyway, back to Alma Mater. I think I remember there being an alien predator hybrid somewhere around this place cognition module. And I would like to find him because right now that has been like the hardest enemy so far. And I want to see if I can beat his ass now. Exploration comes first though. We gotta gather our informational data. AI won't be decriminalized. God damn, it's that big of a deal over here. All right. 70% of data gathered, nice. INB vault, all right. The world has become so technologically advanced that people are scared of making AIs and it's gonna turn into their god or something. Like, it's crazy. Yo, there's another Black Knight. Oh shit, there's two of these guys. I mean, I'm doing some decent damage to them, but they still pack a punch. Yo, take one of these and boom, done. Two shot. Uh, God damn, my mace is so powerful it destroyed reality itself. Hello. Oh, oh my god, that was almost a one shot. Wait, is there like a sneak bonus or something like that? I mean, I didn't do this much damage to the others. What does this do? Oh. Wait a minute, does this just turn on the light? Oh, bro, that this is much better. Hold, there's just a light switch there. <laughs> bro, all right, that's new. Well, actually it isn't. I have seen flaming pipes before, but just not quite like this. Like, this is literally a trap. We're in the dungeons now. Can I, like, roll through? Yes, I can, and then I can also fall onto the other one. And, oh, I'm on top of the little fountain. Oh, cool. Also, the enemies here changed, I assume, because of the accretion storm. Although I don't really think they're harder than Black Knights. Well, I mean, the wall hacks are troublesome. Look what I found. It's one of those sick-ass doors. But I have no... I Whoa, wait a minute. What's this? Haloom helmet. Hello. Yo, this shit looks straight out of Halo or something, bro. It looks sick. It's super big. It's almost kind of funny. But anyway, yeah, I don't know where the boss for that door is, so I'm gonna hold out for now. I also just found the Predator guy. Come on, I wanna kill this thing. Ooh, that was some nice damage. He's still- Wait, is that a- That's not it. What? That's not his tongue! It's a freaking- What the fuck was that? That was disgusting, man! <laughs> but I love it. Boom, hit him with another one of these. And if he hits me with that, he'll kill me. Alright, that was just one hit. Ooh, and that was the second one. Underworld Sentinel. Oh, bro, that's the full armor set from those Black Knights. That's gonna look sick. And this is the INB vault key. Wait a minute, I just realized something. Let me let me send this elevator back down. Woo! Now we're calling it back up. Jump on it. And voila. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. Giving that vacuum isolator, whatever that means. Increases armor resistance against entropy. Entropy is like dark, right? Uh, well, anyway, can I interact with this? No? Well, good luck to you all. Is it just me or is there a possibility that he's actually stuck <laughs> right there? Yo, please don't move. Fuck, I just unstuck this man. Well, he's gonna die now. Come on, get up. Go back. And boom. 
Nice, beautiful, didn't drop anything. What is that down there? I don't even, that is a crazy looking structure, man. Is this just space? I guess, I guess we're just outside. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's like the fucking floating chalice of blood. I can't interact with it. What's that? Thurgist, gloves, vest and leggings. Can I? Nope, all right, just checking. So I guess I should be going towards the INB vault. I mean, at least right now, it's the only key that I have. It's the only place I can access. What's in here? Damn, that is a crazy-ass store. Honestly, I would love to have a garage that opens like this. What is this, like a generator or something? Uh, very interesting. That's an item. Pick up. Artillery OTX and a firearm conductor plus one. I had the artillery P17. This does induction damage and this does radiation damage. I guess that's the biggest difference. Is it the same projectile? Uh, this one is blue, but yeah, they, they probably work the same. What the fuck is that, man? Is that both a Bioshock and Dark Souls reference in one? That one, I... <laughs> I'm not even sure what that is, man. What the fuck? Yo, Sentinel boots and the full... Bro, oh, by the way, I got the Abyss Sentinel or whatever. Underworld Sentinel, but it requires foresight. Now, wait a minute. Let me just check the fashion on the Underworld Sentinel first. Yup, looks pretty sick. But now we have the normal sentinel armor, which by the way, if I were to do like half and half, that, that is some nice fashion. But I don't have the stats for the other one, so we're just gonna have to stick with this. But is it actually better than the revolute warrior armor? I mean, against most things, yes. By the way, the melee conductors are not weapon locked. I can unequip them and then take like a column or whatever and equip the strength melee conductor on that and it gets the same upgrade level so you can just switch it between weapons. It's very cool, although it will cost quite a bit of axioms to do that, but it's fine. Let's use the Link Vespadon now. I want to see how this works. Also, this is the Sentinel weapon, which is nice. You know, it goes with the armor. Let me just test something first. Come on, I can't one-shot these guys with a jumping heavy. I'm not... Not sure if I'm a huge fan of that trade, but sure, whatever. That looks like a pretty big arena. And that looks like a pretty big boy. Uthos the Ashenborn. God damn, this guy looks just straight out of doom. Ooh, this man is tanky though. And does quite a bit of damage too. What the fuck is the... Oh my god, this guy is shooting whatever that is. <laughs> I mean, look. This guy, I know there's three of these cosmic god guys. I don't know, maybe this is supposed to be the last one or something. Like, god, he's very strong. And the health pool on that man, bro. Thing is, I found one in the Arisen Dominion. I found another one here in Alma Mater. So where would the other one be exactly? But you know what? Let's jump into Arcology because there's something I want to do here too. The five eyes of the Arcology carving into minds with each cycle. I have no idea what that means, but let's go to the third floor. Up here we have an amazing view and these consoles where we can introduce some codes. Currently I have discovered three codes, one for I2. Does that do something apparently not anyway i4 accept also doesn't really do anything great and finally i5 fantastic <laughs> like what the fuck man i oh wait they stay inputted so i guess that i need all the codes i want to severely damage it well, that's great. Anyway, there's a door here I've also never seen, which leads to a health module. Nice. And also, speaking of doors I have never seen, except I have seen them, that door right there. I remember trying to enter that place, like, pretty much, I think it was like the first episode, but I didn't have the credentials of whatever. Maybe I have... No, I don't. But there's an item... 
What? How? Wait a You can go down this thing? What the fuck? Oh, I see. Well, that's... That's cool. I wonder where this is gonna lead. I hope I don't die. Alright, cool pathing and some axions. Very nice. Uh, can I drop further down? I don't think so. There's a coin on the back of this place. And I guess we're just going up now. Question is now, where the... To Yo, what? You have food? Uh, I don't think... Uh, no. Wait a minute, what if I say yes? Bring more? What do you want? Fragment of Anarchon? Daemon? Thespia? Yo, you want a nil rock? I have plenty of those. Take. Wait a minute, he gave me a nil rock? Or did I get... Who the fuck is this guy? <coughs> anyway, uh, well, we can open these side doors now. That's cool. We have more map unlocked. But how the hell do I get the port Easterton credentials now? Yo, the disciple bro is over here too now. Are you one of those who believe that some things are better left unknown? Uh, no, quite the opposite. Uh, and we agree. Shandra, There's no reason we shouldn't make use of everything available to us. Take this. Raise it. Foresight Marish. module. Nice. I'll be taking care of matters in Port Eastern. Be seeing you. Uh, sh yo, don't wanna give me those credentials, bro. God damn. This guy is just rubbing that shit on my face like, ho ho, look where I'm going. Also, apparently, I just discovered the pattern for I3. They also have like D patterns, C patterns, A patterns, and I'm not sure what that means. Yo, the tribal guy is over here as well now. <laughs> You're back. I didn't think you'd make it, but I kept hoping. I haven't been watching you. Didn't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Anyway, we have I code 3 now. Drop that right in there. So they all have codes. But this one doesn't work. So I'm not sure what you want me to do about that. But all right. Wait a minute. What? I got an achievement? I <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, that was not the first one. So... What? I don't know, man. You guys are gonna have to let me know what's going on with those codes. But also, there's the Arcology Underside area. Which leads into this place that I still haven't explored. Because the environment is gonna fry my fucking brains off. Or... <laughs> what's left of them. Do we have anything that's like super radiation resistant or something like that? I don't think so, but these armors, like their stats are so low that I'm pretty sure because I like the requirements, they're not showing me like their true stats. But anyway, we take a little bit of time to die. So you know what? Let's go in. We have no oxygen. Fuck it. Where do I go though? There's an item over there. Well, forward, I guess. Jump this! Can I? Yes, I can. Hey, oh. Wait a minute. Can I also go down? No, I don't think so. Jump back. Bro, the screen is starting to fade to black. And... Well, I didn't get very far. And it's not even the radiation. It's the lack of oxygen that kills me. Because I need it to fucking breathe. <laughs> So, at this point, I was a little lost, and I started re-exploring areas, and thankfully I started with the embassy, because it's somewhere I've really only been at at the start of the game, and I was sure there was more to do there, also because of the hidden door tech I discovered later, and yes, there was indeed a hidden door at the embassy, which led outside the station, and I found the broken EVA suit there. I already had the EVA suit schematics at that point, which were found in Ecology Underside, and just by looking at it, you could tell it was like some sort of space suit, but I needed the original broken EVA suit in order to then make the non-broken EVA suit. But why the fuck is the EVA outfit on the embassy behind a hidden door while it's something that you actually need? Like, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that, that seems like some bullshit to me. Now, since I have seen armors in more than one place, maybe I just missed it somewhere else, alright? But this broken EVA suit, man, it seems a little 
too out of the way you know i mean i think it should definitely be more in your face but again maybe i missed it somewhere else a perfect replica of an old extra vehicle or spacesuit that has been officially out of commission since the last century nonetheless wearing this outfit will make it possible to survive in the vacuum of space and also considering this is kind of essential like having requirements on it is not great but i mean they're not high so it's fine gonna have to use a reflex module to provide that boost all right there we go I'm a little faster now but god damn this is a heavy s armor it looks pretty cool though not gonna lie open up spaceman let's go one small step got the achievement unlocked all right, so I should be suffering from radiation now, but not losing oxygen. Although it still says no oxygen there, but I'm guessing that's just the environment I'm in. Also, I should probably use this thing, right? Sure, except that doesn't cure my max health. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this place is fucking horrible, man. All right, so we gotta be fast. I get it. What is this? Am I safe from radiation here? It stops the radiation poisoning, but it doesn't really help with anything else. I mean, my max health is still fucking gone. And oh, and so is the rest of it. Honestly, I'm not sure there is a point to that room. Also, oh, we got, oh, they die really quick. That's good because I don't have the health to fight these people. I just missed shit. Oh, good thing he did as well. Fuck, nice. Bro, I'm gonna die. What the fuck? Can I just uh, switch real quick? Yo, come on, come off. Oh my god. Come on, man. Yo, there's one of these big guys over here. That's cool, I guess. Uh, what else? There's an item. And I'm not gonna find out what it is. All right. So I think the point of this is you go as fast as you can, jumping around the platforms. As soon as your thingy of radiation starts going to the red, you pop that thing so you don't start getting fucked up. And I think that's how you do it. But I mean, I'm gonna run out eventually. Just pop another one. And now you have to get into that room. Because if you close those doors, you don't suffer from radiation. Come on. And... All right, all right, you see that that works that works except I don't have any more of those things now Although the healing items which in this case we have the radiation poisoning thing they can be charged through combat So as long as I keep hitting people I can kind of charge that but I mean it's not it doesn't charge that fast though I mean come on like this is some Bullshit, man. Yo, whoa, 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 what is this? I mean, let me get in here. Can I... Is there any other safe place where I can drop my ass into? Let me try this anti-gravity module. That should make me a bit faster, at least. Although, now I don't have the requirements for the armor, but I don't think that matters. You really only need its skill to not lose oxygen. Yo, eat this fucking bitch let's go where's the other one hello is there anything i can do to an armor to make it like more resistant to radiation or something like that because bro i am getting destroyed right now no joke yo 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 open this thing please come on quick quick i need a goddamn breach man otherwise i'm just gonna die and go all the way back the, the radiation is gonna kill me, man. Not if I can help it. Fuck, I'm still at zero. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, the, f I'm dead. So there's really no point in fighting, I guess. I just have to be fast. Very fast, actually. I must become speed itself. All right, cool. Bro, come on. Really? You just had to spawn a fucking ghost? Oh, my... Bro, what the- like, I'm- I'm- like, bro, like, no, this- come <laughs> Jump down, and get this one too. Open, 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 open. But, uh, bro, like, I'm just- I'm gonna get messed up this time. Just open, man, god damn! Alright, is there anything that can help me regarding radiation poison? Please, I- Just- 
Alright, look for a goddamn bridge before I die. That's a boss that... What? Bro, are you fucking ki You know what? Sure, fuck it. Let's go. Where is this goddamn boss? Huh? The transporter. I don't have health for this guy. Look at my goddamn health. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. There's a bridge outside? Wait a minute. How don't I just fucking die if I stay here? How the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna die, but like, do I just respawn here? I don't know, this is weird, man. I mean, look at this. I just spawned at the bridge. Look at that radiation meter. Like, it just goes up so fast. Like, this fucking AVA suit ain't doing shit. Now, come on. And now that thing is on the red. Now, there's technically no radiation anymore, but the buildup still has to come down. And that... I I mean, look at my maximum health already. It's past 50% that like, bro. Now I can use this, but <laughs> yeah, I can get about one hit. I, I'm not even sure if I can get hit once. I'm pretty sure he just one shots me at this point. Exactly. And you also have radiation inside this boss room. Bro, this is fucking crazy, man. But anyway, so I checked online because I was pretty sure this thing wasn't working correctly. And it isn't. I have the requirements for the EVA suit. Like, nothing is red. But that's because I'm using a reflex module. And if I go outside, I take a shitload of radiation damage. And just like that, I am now in the red. Like, bro, that's fucking crazy. My defense against radiation is only 31, and it should be much higher, apparently. And again, from what I've gathered, the problem is exactly the reflex module, because I have five reflex with the module on, but if I take it off, I only have three cognition, which is enough for the... EVA suit, but the reflex isn't. So I need 12k to level up. Let me just uh, eat some of this stuff. Now let me get three reflex. All right, so now I have all the stats for the EVA suit base. And now this should be working correctly. Yeah, radiation 95. What the fuck? Bro, this... Like, this is a problem, man. I mean, like... Well, you can use these things to boost your stats, but they don't count towards armor? No, but they do, because I used it with the Revolute Warrior armor, which needed reflex. So it, it has to be something with this suit specifically. So if I exit now... Bro, look at the fucking difference in that radiation buildup. Which, <laughs> there's about none. Like, what the fu- Bro, this is fucking stupid, man. I am pretty sure this is not supposed to work like this. Anyway, let's get back up there. <laughs> sure, thanks. Also, why the fuck am I doing this? I had synchronized this thing. Well, anyway, we're back. <laughs> fuck it, just transport user. Where's the fucking outside? Yeah, sure, let's go. Also, what about defense? Does this guy do less damage now? He does a lot less damage. Yeah, it was all. It was just. The suit just wasn't acting as it was supposed to. Man, fuck. Like, come on. That is some bullshit. That is a big problem. Like, it is it is an issue. Heal, use this thing. And four. Come on. Come on, you big... Uh, whatever you are. Alien, creature, or uh, transporter. <laughs> Yo, Jason Statham, is that you? You... But fuck, that was a lot of damage. Shit. Oh, he might kill me with this one. Come on. I'm almost getting enough for another charge. And I could use it. Oh, thank you. If I don't die here. Oh, bro. It doesn't matter. I have another charge now. And boy, oh, eat a goddamn dick. But what the fuck is that? Is that its tongue? God damn, this game is messed up. Anyway, but we got Portis and credentials, nice. And a branch of light, whatever that does. And a marine rifle? Hold up, what the hell do you mean a marine rifle? I think I recognize, is that what I think it is? Yo, nah, that's, that's the 
gun from the Alien movies. I think it's M4A1 or something. That is fucking sick. It doesn't have the same sound effect, obviously. I mean, but bro, I, I'm gonna have to level up my cognition, man. 